Hello, in this video I'm about to explain how to uh, generate a point-to-point -point movement so that I can specify uh, the points where I want to go in the Cartesian space uh, but the underlying trajectory is still a cubic trajectory as we saw in a previous video. And this uh, movement here is still being done in the configuration space, we will see that, ok? But for that we need some, uh, to compute the inverse kinematics of the robot in order to translate a point in the Cartesian space into the configuration space, ok? So there's a document uh, included in the video description in which I provide all the maths behind the inverse kinematics, so please I suggest you to take a look to that document to fully understand this video. Ok, well let's start by analyzing uh, what we have in this uh, code that I have prepared here. Let's, let's start with the syscall init function. In this case uh, I have or I, I access to the handles of the joints that the robot has and I get the position of some specific points in order to compute actually the length of or the distance of some parameters that I need for the inverse kinematics or the, the geometry of my robot. This could be done by hand, you can just simply introduce the numbers here if you know the, the dimensions, but I prefer to do that so that it's supposed to be more exact, but this, I mean, um, don't really pay too much attention to that, it's not that important if you put the correct number in the end here, ok? Well, uh, right now here what I want to do is, uh, from my initial configuration I would like to go to different points, in this case is point 1, point 2, point 3 and point 4 actually is the point of my initial configuration, ok. And uh, as I did before I get the joint handles for, in order to control them and I set the joints positions to the initial configuration which is Q0, it's, it's exactly the same as we had before and the difference here is that I call compute trajectory point, ok? The difference here is that I require an initial configuration, then I have a sequence of points that I would like to go with a sequence of time intervals that I would like to spend on each of the trajectories, ok? And I need to provide the parameters, the geometric parameters of the robot in order to compute the inverse kinematic as we will see. But in the end we generate again a trajectory which has a set of trajectory points and again we have the same code we had here before in the syscall actuation because I'm just simply moving the robot to a specific joint positions depending on the trajectories that I have computed here, ok? So let's move to the compute trajectory point function here, is this one here, it's just simply this function here is actually calling the moveJ function, ok? This function is in charge of reproducing or emulating the moveJ uh, instruction in Rapid4 uh, that we use in ABB robots that requires in this case uh, initial configuration, a final or destiny position in Cartesian space, the time we want to spend on that or to generate for that trajectory and the kinematic parameters, ok? We will see this uh, function here. This uh, compute trajectory point is just simply merging all the trajectories that I generate with the move j instruction, ok? The only thing I need to explain here is that for the next trajectory I would like to merge because this is a sequence of trajectories, the last point I reach which is p i minus 1, I use the inverse kinematics in order to compute the initial configuration I, I want for or I need for the moveJ function, ok? We will explain uh, actually the inverse kinematics and the moveJ function right now, ok? So uh, the moveJ function is very simple because it accepts, as I said, a conf initial configuration, a final Cartesian point and a time. So what I do here is I use the inverse kinematic to translate the final uh, Cartesian point into a final configuration, so these are the angles that I want at the end of the movement to reach that specific point, ok? And then I call the move apps j function that I explained in the previous video, ok? This video was, uh, this function was already explained there and it's exactly the same, that will return a cubic trajectory 
between Q0 and Qt in the, in the configuration space. Okay, that's the task for uh, move J and then anyway uh, we need to explain the inverse kinematic. The inverse kinematic is based on some math or trigonometric relations that I'm not about to explain in detail here. I just simply uh, would like you to take a look to the document, as I said, that is included in the video description and uh, the purpose of this function here is to compute the angles of the first joint, the second joint and the third joint given a specific position, which x, y and z coordinates, ok? And all the math behind here are just simply trigonometric relations for this specific robot in order to compute that relation, that inverse kinematic relation, ok? Ok, so let's try to run this example and see how it works. Well, as you can see here, uh, we are moving to specific points, so the input is a point in the Cartesian space, but still the trajectory is not linear because we are moving or the actual movement is performed in the configuration space using the move apps j function, remember, ok? So we just simply need to compute the inverse kinematic and then uh, compute uh, the actual trajectory in the configuration space as you can see here, ok? So again I have a time plot here with all the uh, values for each of the joints that these trajectories have generated. Okay, thank you very much.